This is 8-Ball Plus. It is powered by the Bally Stern operating system. As it boots up, you see the classic 8-Ball Attract mode, then you see it change, and now you know it's a new version. The Bally Stern operating system was created by Dick Hamill, and it's a huge contribution to the pinball community, using readily available electronics, letting us change the rules, lighting, and sounds of the older Bally and Stern solid-state pinball machines. So why 8-Ball Plus? It always seemed a shame that only half the rack lights in the middle of the playfield were ever used in the game. It seemed like it would be fun if we could have a 15 ball mode. The original game is still there, and that's where you start, collecting all the balls, and then finally the eight ball. The new rules are in keeping with the theme of playing a game of pool. There are several new features that have been added, and there are six possible goals. Total goals achieved are indicated in the singles digit of the player's score in the display. Goals can be achieved in almost any order. If you achieved any of the three goals, you jump into ball chase mode. The regular balls blank out and one of the ball targets starts flashing. You have a limited time to capture that ball for 5,000 points. If you capture the first one, a second one will light, and if you capture that one, you'll get 20,000 points. When the mode times out, you jump back into regular play. If you make five goals, the game stops your play by killing the flippers, Then you start a new ball in 15 ball mode. The machine is still fully a chime coil game, but with more unique sound effects to let the player know what is happening. I will go through the game features, and at the end of the video, I'll show how the Bally Stern operating system hardware connects to the game. Links in the video description will take you to everything you need to get more information. So let's start a game. Okay, we're going to follow the normal eight ball rules to start with. Just collect the balls the normal way, one at a time. Eight balls lit, so now we can collect the eight ball. Now when we lose our ball, we'll then get super bonus. Now we have our first goal. You can see the one in the display. And this is the normal outline special. Now with the kicker lit, there's a three second window where it'll kick it again if it needs to. All right, this is the 10 point spinner. When it's lit, you get a thousand points. And you watch the countdown. When it gets to zero, it sounds different. You're getting 1,500 points of spin, and you have a second goal in the score. If you keep going, you're now getting 2,000 points of spin, and this is the spinner combo. The lit arrow tells you to go up to the bank shot, and then the arrow switches, and you got 20,000 points for finishing that mode. But because this is the third goal, you've now entered ball chase mode. So randomly, there's one ball blinking, that's the number two. If you get it before the timer runs out, you get 5,000 points. You get a second shot at this, now it's number seven. And now you're back into regular play. Next mode is the pop bumper mode. You can watch the countdown in the ball and play window. And when it gets to zero, you hear the sound effect. You have a fourth goal. And we're getting a thousand points per pop. And now we have next ball. Just like playing pool, if you get one shot, you have an opportunity for the next one. In this case, the three is blinking, which you get for 5,000 points. Now that's our fifth goal. So the flippers have gone dead. You'll lose your ball. And then we enter 15 ball mode. We enter 15 ball mode, 14 balls are available. There are 5,000 points each. But there's a catch. I have the seven and the 15. 
They were 5,000 points each. But I lose the 15. I lose the 7. I lost 10,000 each. The sixth goal is Scramble Ball. It takes the balls you've already collected and just randomly spins them around. So now we'll collect the rest of the balls. You continue collecting them or losing them. So now everything but the eight ball. If you somehow manage to get this far, you now score the eight ball one more time. And that's 100,000 points. The bonus for this mode is double the normal amount. And now we're back into regular gameplay. Basically, you've restarted everything. If you had enough balls in your game, 15 ball mode would have given you two shots at trying to complete them. Otherwise, you just go back to the beginning. So let's take a look at some of the Bally Stern operating system hardware. So this is a Future Spa. I've also been working on Future Spa. 
it's not as advanced as the eight ball game, but it's running. Uh, you can see there's an attract mode change uh, and a number of other things, but let's take a look at the hardware. So here's the back box. There's the hardware there. So this is uh, an Arduino Mega, and this is the version three of the hardware. The Mega has a lot more space for programming uh, and has more functionality. But the operating system itself is basically the same and can, can be compiled onto either the older hardware or this hardware. So this is just getting debugged right now. Here we have the first version. This is an Arduino Nano in the lower right corner. This is the version one hardware. The only issue with it is it's full. So this is the Future Spa, same Future Spa programming on this particular one, but it's completely full. I can't do anything else, uh, which is why we have to move to the Mega. So eight ball just barely fits onto the Arduino Nano, uh, but I expect that it will need to be, uh, when I finish it, it will need to be moved to the Mega as well. So this is the actual hardware. Uh, if you're interested in trying this out, either you just want to play the game, the software is completely free. You download it from GitHub. There'll be links in the description as to where you can get that. There's also there'll be a link to a pin side thread where you can ask questions about it. And I'll be posting it in the eight ball thread as well. So that people are at least aware that the game exists. So that's it for the hardware. Like I say, that's the nano version. And this is the mega version.